Today on our 2017 Dodge Journey, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 2, part number C12134. Here's what our hitch looks like on our vehicle. It has a nice round tube design and contours with the shape of our vehicle. It's going to be an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter Class 2 hitch. It's going to give you a half inch hitch pin hole and a nice flat plate design for your safety chains. As you can see, this hitch doesn't stick out past the bumper, so you wouldn't have to worry about hitting your knees or your shins. However, it does stick out far enough that you don't have to reach under the vehicle to insert your hitch pin, which is included with this hitch. Now, this hitch does have a 350 pound max tongue weight and a 3,500 pound max trailer weight. However, I do recommend you check your owner's manual to make sure your vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. Kurt does require the use of a stabilization strap for non wheeled loads which are available for purchase here at eTrailer.com. Now we will give you a couple measurements to help when deciding on any hitch mount accessory you may need, such as bike racks or cargo carriers. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost part of the bumper will be about three inches. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube will be about 14 and a half inches. First thing we need to do to start our install is we need to lower our exhaust. So what we want to do is we want to spray our hangers with some soapy water. This makes them a little easier to take off. Next, what you want to do is get you a strap. And I like to just hang it by the springs to support your exhaust when you take it off the hangers. Now you have a rubber hanger here and you have a rubber hanger on this side of the exhaust on both sides of the car. You want to remove those. Now, on the inside toward the spare tire, you're going to notice this strap. You want to pop that off and just let it hang there because we're going to put it back on later. And sometimes these hangers are a little difficult to get off, so you're going to need to use a pry bar. So this strap that we took off down here, I'm going to go ahead and put it back on down here and take it off the top. That way it doesn't get damaged when we put the pry bar up there. And then we're going to repeat that same process on the other side of the vehicle. Now, before we put our hitch in place, what you want to do is you want to take this spacer block and it's going to go on this hole. And I found it's easier that if you take a piece of tape to hold it on there and just tape it to the hitch. You want to make sure you don't cover the hole so you can get your bolt through. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now here on our passenger side, what we're going to do is we're going to run our hardware. What we're going to do, we're going to take our wire lead, feed it through the hole, add the small spacer and your bolt. Take your spacer, lead it up there first, and pull it down through the hole. We're going to do the same process. We're going to be putting this one in. However, you only get two of these wire leads. So we're going to have to take one off. I would suggest removing this one uh, closest to the back of the car because the hole where you put it in is right here on the end and you, it's easily accessible if you happen to push your bolt up in there. Also, I would suggest when you take this lead off to use it, make sure you unscrew it off there and don't pull it because if you pull it, it's going to stretch it out and you won't be able to use it again. Now what we're going to do on this, this back one, we're going to take our wire lead and feed it up and it's going to come right out over here on the end of the bumper frame. Now on this back one, you're going to take the big spacer. Again, same process like you did your other two. Feed your spacer up in there. Again, put your bolt on. Push it up into the space. Now that we have this side on, we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Now with another extra set of hands, we're going to go ahead and put our hitch in place. Now we can go ahead and finish putting our hardware on. We're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Now we'll go ahead and snug everything down. I'll be using a three quarter inch socket. We're going to repeat the process on the other side. Once you have everything uh, snug down, you can go ahead and torque it down to the specifications in your instructions. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So once you have your hitch torqued down, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our exhaust. Again, 
We're going to spray your holders with some soapy water, which makes them slide on a little easier. Now you can go ahead and put your ground strap back on. Once you have your exhaust reinstalled, you can go ahead and remove your safety strap. And that'll do it for the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver Class 2, part number C12134 on our 2017 Dodge Journey.